YouTube, Chris with Journos Comics and Pop Culture. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting in a car. Well, let me tell you what, I'm just grateful to be in front of a camera for the first time in a very, very long time. And yes, I just, I don't have it in me to go set anything up in my uh, comic book lab. So I said, at least I'm gonna sit in my car and do this little video today, folks. We are going to talk about Red Hulk. We got a trailer. I haven't talked about stuff like this in so long, and I've already seen the books going up on eBay, all the hype and all the Facebook groups talking about it. I had to talk about it. If you are subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so, because yes, Journos Comics is still alive and well. So let's talk about it, guys. We got the Captain America 4 trailer, which I would love to hear your comments and thoughts below because I was very impressed. And to be honest, with all the reshoots and everything going on, with knowing what the Captain America franchise has been with Chris Evans and Steve Rogers, I'm like, this is going to fall flat. I enjoyed the Falcon and Winter Soldier show, but it's just, it's it's it wasn't the same. I watched this trailer and while the pessimist in me is like, Okay, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to recreate the magic from the Winter Soldier. But let's be optimistic in, until we see the film. Harrison Ford stepping in from William Hurt. I mean, it looks great. Anthony Mackie is, has done a great job as the Falcon. And I think this is going to be a solid, solid film. Will, will it be what any of the other Captain Americas were with, with Steve? No. Obviously, we, we wish that he was there, but it, it's good. It's comic accurate. And uh, that's all I have to say until the movie comes out. Now, let's talk about the comic books pertaining to this uh, preview, this trailer. And, of course, it's all about the little sneak peek of Red Hulk at the end and talking about Red Hulk's first appearance in comic books. Um, the question to ask is, what should you guys do? as collectors and this goes to so much of what I've tried to talk about on my channel for for years and kind of where I've hit been hitting my head over maybe the last two years or year and a half and I'm gonna tell you this straight up without sugarcoating anything do not buy this book it's simple do not buy this book it is almost what's the word I'm looking for um, concrete to a T that whatever you pay for this book right now is not going to be what you're going to be able to sell this book for three well how, much, how, how long do we have we got about six seven months no, eight months, I don't even know what month it is. It comes out in February, right? Until the movie releases, just don't do it. The only way that you should buy this book right now is if you find it in a back issue bin or like well underpriced where it was at three days ago before the trailer was released. And this isn't about, this isn't about collectors versus flippers, collectors versus speculators, and all this terminology and these labels that we throw on certain individuals within this hobby. It's just about being smart. And whether you've been collecting for three months, three years, or 30 years, we should know by now. Movie and live action spec doesn't hold, even for established comic book characters that have a solid foundation within comic books themselves. It doesn't hold. And I don't know how to explain this any differently. And I go back to this statement. 99% of comics, especially modern comics, depreciate in value once you purchase them. It's like buying a brand new car at the lot. You pay $40,000 for that car. Once you drive it off the lot, it's worth twenty eight. dollars It's the same thing with comic books. You pay $3.99 for that comic book. Once you purchased it, now good luck if you could sell it for half that. 
I know this is a key when we're talking about Red Hulk's first appearance, and I know it's already valuable because of its in, intrinsic value due to the, just the, the character being an awesome established character within comic books. And that's fine, and that's the baseline that we can use for the valuation of this book. And I still am going to, I don't want to go too in depth right now, but I am still going to make a video where I deep dive into the extreme problem and detriments of movie and live action speculation and how it's affected our purchasing decisions, our FOMO, and what it does to these books on the market, especially the secondary market, because that's where most of these books are sitting. And it's just not worth it. And it's like, I feel like people that FOMO out into these speculative buys are, especially if they've been around in the hobby for, if you've been around even for a year or two, I mean, it's like, we should know better. And it's like, I feel like we're, we're just addicts fiending for that next fix. And, you know, we go cop the dope, you know, we, 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 we get high. And then when we're on our come down, we're, we're oh man, was this, this wasn't even worth it. We got burned. But then as soon as that next rush comes on, you know, you're fiending for that next hit still. And then you can't help yourself. And I feel that, that that's, that's what modern foam, modern movie and live action speculation is. It's the FOMO fix of getting that dopamine rush. And it's like, we're hitting our head against the same brick wall not realizing that we're doing the same thing over and over again. Comic books obviously can be a sound investment. Whether you are looking to be a day trader in, in, in short-term flip or you're looking to hold long-term, we can take financial and investment principles and bring them into comic books and find valid opportunities to work it like any other investment market 100% but we have to realize that it's not the entire market any stock that that goes into public trading doesn't mean it's going to be worth anything i mean covid open the door for investments in so many areas like comics and cars and collectibles, but also on the market where, do you know how many penny stocks balloon to like $50 a stock or $100 a stock that are now literally worth pennies? And we were in a similar mind state investing in, in stocks during that time as people are investing in comic books, not all stocks are going to be valuable. Not all comics are gonna be valuable. And the true hard, the hard truth is, the majority of your comic books are going to depreciate, not appreciate. So, going back to Red Hulk. Guys, we saw a trailer, it's exciting. Don't go out and buy a book because of it. Don't go out and buy a book because you're excited about this trailer. We already know that there's probably people that have been holding onto this book that are in this hobby. For what reason? To make money. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Hey, they have every right to. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna get on the pointing finger. This ain't about pointing fingers. Hold yourselves accountable. What have I said for years? If somebody was holding on to multiple copies of Red Hulk's first appearance and they want to put them all up on eBay right now and people are going to spend five times how much they were selling for two days ago, then from two days ago, that ain't, ain't nobody to blame but yourselves making those purchasing decisions. That's accountability, right? Hold yourself accountable. You're not going to get rich. You're not going to miss out on anything buying this book right now simply because we saw this character in a trailer and it's that simple. Now, if you really cared about this character, most likely you most likely you would have this comic in your collection already. But hey, if you are one that just gets excited off of movies and you think you're gonna go see that movie and fall in love with that character even more, maybe you just wanna own his first appearance, 
don't buy it now. Wait for the movie to come out. Wait for the hype and the FOMO to pass. And then you'll see this book teeter down again for, for you to be able to purchase it in more of a real time fair market value. Okay. I don't know what else to say about it. So same thing. Don't feel like you are an addict needing the dopamine rush because you're going to miss out on something or you think you're going to get rich. I'm not mad at you for being in this hobby if you want to make money off of it. But you are going to be on the opposite end of that if you're reactionary in your purchasing decisions right now. So, and if you're one of those people that likes to put labels on certain types of people in this hobby, aka like flippers or speculators, whatever that are selling these books right now, and you're gonna be mad at them for beefing up the price, it's not their fault that they held them and they're selling them. It's people that don't have the, uh, uh, the, the patience or the will to not, give into their FOMO and buy these books right now, okay? So, I'm excited about the movie. I want to hear all of your guys' thoughts on what you thought of the trailer. Let me know in the comments if you have this book, if you plan on selling it right now, or if you are actually interested in buying it, and if you don't care about anything that I said in this video and you're still going to buy it. And I would also love to know uh, if you are in the market for it, how much, what is your ceiling on what you would be willing to pay for this book? And what type of research and homework are you going to do if you're in the market for this book right now? What variables are you going to look to? You're going to look to precedent. Or are you going to look for what it was selling for two days ago? What marketplace are you going to buy? I want to know your guys' tactics if you're actually thinking about possibly buying this book right now or at least leading up until the movie comes out so again we'd love to hear all your guys thoughts in the comments below thank you all for watching be well and until next time